beer was the isolation hospital. Well, let's find out. Let's use a map from National Library of Scotland who have digitised and made online audit survey maps that have gone out of copyright. But let's use, instead of these individual tiled maps, let's use geo-referenced maps. And I want to choose the historic map overlay for the end of the 19th century. And a good one to go for is a 25 inch map that covers 1892 to 1914. Let's zoom in. There's Mitcham Town Centre. It's in the Wandle Valley, so it's south of here. There's Mitcham Junction train station. Here's the River Wandor. Here it is, Isolation Hospital. Now there's an aerial photograph of this that's on the Historic England website, but I've got a link to it on my website, Mitchell Mystery Notes. And here's what it looked like in October 1928. Let's see what we can see. There's a road leading into it. Let's go back to the map. That looks like that road there. We can see the outline of the buildings and this cruciform building this should be easy to spot hmm there's actually two here this is 1928 perhaps they built another one so we've got two cross shaped buildings and one two three four five buildings let's see if that matches up so it looks like they've built another one there and as I said, one, two, three, four. Yes, I think that's it. Where does that correspond to today? Well, that's the reason I chose a geo reference map. If we can go down here, it says change transparency of overlay. We can see the roads today. Let's give me a satellite view. Let's have a open street map so we can see the street names. Toll Street, McCray Lane, Miller Close, Batley Close. Yes, there you go. That's where the isolation hospital was. It's now housing. To find out when that extra cross-shaped building was added, the website to go to is the Lost Hospitals of London. In 1910, following the sanction of loan, a new isolation block was built of cruciform design. Okay, so that, that corresponds to this extra wing that was built there. As we saw in this map, which is the end of the 19th century, only one cruciform, i.e. shaped like a cross building, is there. But in the photograph of 1928, there are two. And that's referred to here in that description. I'll put a link to the Lost Hospitals website in the description of this video. Here's a diagram of that new cross-shaped building thank you for watching if you enjoyed this please press the like button and consider subscribing to the channel bye